Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com, the ChrisVossShow.com. Hey, come to your blog post. We want to share the course review, the latest in social media and technology. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow the ChrisVossShow.com for all the latest, coolest gadgets, toys, and tech stuff that's out there. So. We're going to be viewing one of my favorite camera lines, Canon. It's the it's the camera that I use every day, and it's one of my favorites. I mean, I got to be honest with you. Uh, we've tested out a lot of cameras, and there are good cameras out there. We definitely do like Canon. It's just uh, my personal preference. So we're going to be reviewing today the Canon 6D. Now this is a pretty awesome newer camera that's out from Canon. It has some really cool features that we'll probably be rolling out to the rest of their cameras. Uh, we'll have to see. There's the new 70D that's coming out soon that uh, has some of the same sort of features uh, and actually some more stuff uh, that's pretty cool. So Let's talk about the uh, Canon EOS 6D here. We're going to take a review, give you a breakdown of it and all that good stuff. Really enjoyed being able to test this thing for a couple weeks when Canon sent it to us. Uh, you can go to their website at uh, canon.com or usa.canon.com. You can just Google canon.com. You can also see them on Twitter at Canon USA. And uh, be sure to tell them Chris Voss sent you. Now, uh, let's go through the, some of the aspects of the uh, EOS 6D. It's a newly designed 20.2 uh, megapixel full frame CMOS sensor that's in it. It's got a 14 bit A uh, analog to digital conversion and a wide ISO setting range of 100 to 25,600. You can shoot in bright to dim light, and it's also got the next generation Digic 5 Plus image processor for enhanced noise reduction and exceptional processing speed. I uh, actually shot the 60 against my T5i, and man, my T5i could not keep up with the 60. I could just shoot away, bang away, capture action shots. Um, it rock and rolled compared to my my uh, slower T5i, which is uh, actually new. So um, having that Digic 5 Plus processor just alone on speed makes a difference, let alone the uh, immense amount of more quality it brings in uh, to uh, you know your photos and, and more, more stuff that it reads when it takes the image and everything else. So you're getting a much higher quality image along with speed. Uh, there's a new 11 point autofocus that includes a high precision center cross type AF point with the EV-3 sensitivity for focusing in extreme low light conditions and a bright high quality viewfinder for easy focusing. Uh, there's IFCL metering with 63 zone dual layer metering sensor that utilizes your autofocus and color information for optimizing exposure and image quality. It's got continuous shooting for up to 4.5 frames per second for capturing fast action and it is one fast baby let me tell you. Uh, the EOS HD video with manual exposure and multiple frame rates, 1080p at 30 frames per second. Uh, it'll go to 24 frames per second, 25 and uh, 50p. So, um, and it's got a four gigabyte automatic file partitioning, uh, continuous recording time, 29 minutes and 59 seconds, selectable all iframe. And uh, let's see, it's got a few other things there. A uh, built-in Wi-Fi transmitter allows you to wirelessly transfer your images to social media sites through the Canon Image Gateway. How's that? That's pretty darn cool. It's got built-in Wi-Fi. You can share your images with uh, Wi-Fi enabled Canon cameras or virtually upload anywhere on your iOS and Android smartphone apps with free downloads. Um, <clears throat> pretty freaking awesome the other thing that's cool is you can use your smartphone for remote camera control and operation with the eos remote app so there you go you can even print your own images on a wi-fi compatible printer you can do everything right from your your, your camcorder and your phone who needs uh who needs computers anymore uh it's got a built-in gps receiver that records location information uh, longitude, latitude, elevation, universal coordinated time, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, geotagging images. Uh, it's got compact and lightweight body with shutter durability, tested up to 100,000 cycles, and enhanced dust and weather resistance. And EOS integrated cleaning system for improved vibration based dust removal. Uh, it's got uh, 3.0 inch clear view. LCD monitor, uh, 160 degree viewing angle, uh, 1 million and 40,000 dot VGA reflection resistance with multi coating and high transparency materials for bright and clear viewing. Uh, it's got an high dynamic range 
range HDR and multiple exposure modes that expand creative possibilities and scene intelligent auto and special scene modes that let you achieve high quality images with these. And it's compatible with all the memory cards for the micro SDs that are out there, including the new ultra high speed UHS stat I. So it's pretty freaking awesome and it's got a whole lot more goodies that are inside of it. Let's take a walk around the device and get a look and see what it's all about. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, device. We'll do a walk around here of all the features. Uh, on the upper left-hand corner, you have the shutter button. You have the remote control uh, kind of sensor right below it. Then you also have a place to put the lens right there in the middle. And you have the lens lock, which uh, locks the lens down there on the uh, side, which is very important. There's also a self-timer lamp that's uh, just uh, between the shutter button and the central lens area. Uh, you can't really see it in the shadow there. Now, along the side here, we have this pop-out rubber grommet. Uh, basically, you've got your EV digital out. Uh, you've got your remote control terminal that you can plug into. You've got your mic, and you've got your HDMI out, which is good to have, so you can take and monitor it and all that good stuff and uh, get it going on there. <clears throat> Around the back side taking a look at it what you've got is you've got your menu button your info button and uh, your start and stop button a little switch here you can switch between taking photos and going to video and of course you can start and stop you've got your auto focus on that you can take and change up up at the top there you have your AE lock button and your auto focus point selection button and uh, then down below you've got your uh, zoom in button you've got your play button you the Q button was your uh, is your uh, card slot cover button uh, and let's see what else do we have uh, you've got your garbage can button of course down there below the locking mechanism and then of course the big dial that you see there is your uh, quick control dial where you can take and do settings walk through the menu and all of that good stuff okay now on this side we have the uh, micro SD area where you can take and plug that in and of course record your photos etc etc and uh, spring loaded so it pops open for you all that good stuff and then uh, going across the top what we're going to be looking at from left to right here we'll start we have the mode dial where you can choose between several different settings of modes and uh, picture taking manual etc etc scenes all that good stuff and then of course you have the uh, flash sync contacts of the hot shoe there in the middle of the top uh, you have your um, you have your drive area there, autofocus button, uh, drive selection button, I should call it. And then you have your LCD panel, your ISO setting, your metering mode, your LCD uh, panel illumination button that's uh, there at the very top upper right hand corner. And uh, then, of course, the main dial that you have and your shutter button uh, that you can take and use as going through some of your different uh, things that you want to do with your mode, etc., etc. Okay, so now activating the menu button, you can take and get into the uh, menu of all the different things you can take and do. You can customize uh, all the different setup and everything that you want to take and do uh, using the roto dial there on the side, as you can see here. And you can, of course, click kind of like a side mouse there in between the roto dial and the set button, uh, left and right, up and down, all that good stuff. So uh, it makes it very easy to adjust and customize the settings. On the bottom here, you can see the battery case and, of course, the mount for your tripod mount and all that good stuff. Uh, so a really, really awesome camera. Okay, so on my Google Plus profile on uh, Google Plus, we posted some of the 6D uh, EOS Canon photos that we took. Uh, and uh, just, you can see how beautiful they are. Now we've run some of these through Lightroom, of course, and added some enhancement to them. So uh, you can see just the beautiful images we took and got from them. Uh, here's one. Here's another that we took and got from the camera. The great thing about the camera is it shoots really fast. As you can see in this picture, I was trying to capture the beautiful splash up against this rock of the ocean, and uh, it did a great job of being able to get that in motion, at least the way that I wanted it. Uh, here's another shot with a 6D. Uh, this one here is with the T5i, so we'll kind of pull that one out of the mode. Here's another 6D you can see here. Uh, another 60 that we took very beautiful photos uh, had a great day with the Canon 6 uh, EOS 60 just a great great time uh, this is the T5i so we'll pull that back out so you can see here it takes some exceptional just beautiful 
uh, awesome photos. Okay, so that wraps it up. Uh, we're super, super impressed with the Canon EOS 60. Just a great, great camera and a wonderful thing to shoot with. Uh, high quality, of course, always from Canon. Uh, Canon is my favorite camera maker. I can't say enough about them. Uh, so anyway, um, I love shooting with it. I uh, highly recommend it. Two thumbs up. Go to their website at usa.canon.com or canon.com if you're in other nations. Uh, you can also see them on Twitter at Canon USA. Tell them Chris Foss sent you. Chris Foss tested Chris Foss approved. Two thumbs up here. Uh, just love the camera. It was a delight to use, operate, and shoot with and uh, you should get one yourself. There you go. So be sure to check it out. You can go to the website and everything else. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe just on YouTube, and also follow us on the ChrisVossShow.com so you can get all the wonderful updates of all the cool stuff that we take and do. Thanks for coming by the ChrisVossShow.com. Be sure to check back in often.